Alrighty, who and welcome to Nev's Gaming. Today, of course, is Iron Farm building, and possibly if we've got time in the video, we will be doing villager trading call moving. Lots of fun moving in villages once again. I can't wait, and I'm sure you guys can't as well. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to collect up all these rails and start trying to transform, transform, transport all my villagers to their necessary destinations. I can't wait. Can you hear it in my voice? I can't wait. Ever get the feeling that somebody's watching you? Well, I do. And guess what? It's happening right now! And it's because I'm not in my new village of trading hall, because this is very, very small, even though my other village of trading hall was very, very small. I am in the Iron Golem Farm. Yes! And hear that? Hear that, brothers? Hear that, brothers? Oh, can we see that? Can we see that? There we go, look at that there. Look at that there. The iron golems burning in the lava. This, how did I make it? Pretty simple, nine by nine square. Below us is beds. Uh, outside of us is trading stations with villager trades. Above us is water, going into lava. They, the iron golem sweeps into the lava. Jobs are good and we get iron and poppies. Absolutely an amazing build and it works every time. So I have JFK here, stop staring at me. Oh yeah, quick reason why I uh, chose. Oh my god! That is definitely a scene out of a horror movie. But why did I choose these? Well, I chose these for one plain and simple reason. We can trade sticks. Sticks equals emeralds, emeralds equals goods from other villages, and as we progress we can get things such as slowness, because we all know we all need slowness in our lives. Okay guys, chill out. Oh, what are you doing outside? Trouble with having this fence here as well is the, why do the villagers keep doing that? Trouble with having this fence here. Sometimes a villager gets out, but it's easy. We just breed them up. Move, move, get out my way. Sometimes you have to give them a little love tap, and they move. Same. Oh, I can't love tap you. You'll fall off. Like that. Oh my god, they just killed themselves. Wait, can you go back up? Wait, what? Guys? Right, let me go to bed. This is not going to plan. This is not going to plan. I need to build something outside. A better way to get in. You need to... There we go. Uh oh. Well, I suppose you need to die now. Okay, they're dead. Anyway, so I basically AFK'd for about six hours. And I got this, which is quite ample. That's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, nearly 23 stacks of iron. Now, it's not the prettiest of things. No, it's not. So we need to spice the things up. Spice things up a hell of a lot. Now, I need to do that while not allowing golems to spawn. So, let's get this watchtower built. I went woodcutting to start building the watchtower. Look what I got. I got some lovely birch, and some more birch, and some more birch, and some more birch. Even a birch sapling. Right, let's uh, start building. Woo, building, yeah, using birch. Watch, first block. First block, first block, it's hard to do in first person, yeah, first block is probably not the right place, but who cares, I'm a rebel, I'm a rebel, not really, I need to do this properly. What do you want? Don't ruin the video! Ah, from a single birch, what is it, birch log that we've placed on the ground, I've created this wonderful masterpiece behind me. Yes, it's an iron farm tower. That's what I'm calling it. It's an iron farm watchtower. Watch out. There's iron about. Oh, was that cringe? I don't know. Was that cringe? Comment down below if it was. But I like it because I'm a rebel. And I've got diamonds. 
because I went mining. I got diamonds. I've got enchantments because I did breeding. And ooh, there's a donkey. Let's try and get a donkey. Let's get, try and get a donkey. Let's try and get a donkey. Is this our donkey already? No. Love me, donkey. Love me, donkey. Love me. No, it loves me. It loves me. It loves me. Anyway, look at this wonderful, magical, mythical, absolutely, and shanical iron farm tower. And there's our ender portal, which isn't meant to be there. And I'll show you why later. But carrying on through here, here. Ouch. Uh, I needed iron arm, uh, iron, to uh, iron, iron, spit out. I needed diamond tools because, yeah, I needed all these different types of blocks. But just look at it, look at the magnificent beauty with the copper roof and oh, it's fantastic and the weird, wonderful, wacky wall that we've got. Let's go take it. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. I did all this on live stream, by the way. So if you make sure you go check me out, Nesgaming 101, that's a self advertisement there. But who cares? But look at it. Look at this absolutely magnificent beast of a watchtower. It's got it's an outer wall there to keep the Gingangoolies out because they were sneaking in and trying to eat me while I was making this. But look, the detail down below. I've not done detail on the building because it was too big and took too long. But the detail down below, even though it took me an hour to do all this. Crazy, I know. It took me an hour to place a few bit of bricks because I'm doing this freehand. Freehand! Did I mention freehand? Anyway, moving around. There's my other donkey. I've got to stop tearing donkeys. I've got loads now. But look, simple little mossy blocks placed everywhere. Look, we've got a little waterfall coming down here. <gasps> we've got an even bigger waterfall. Drainage, I call it. Drainage. Into this lovely little pond area. Lovely little pond area. Lovely little bit of drainage. Fantastic and magical. I've got to stop making ponds. Look how tall it goes. Look! Oh god, you're inside me. Look how tall it goes. It goes all the way up there. Let's go through the main entrance, shall we? Have a nosy on by. I've got an arrow slot in case anybody does break the outer wall here. <gasps> Moving through here, that's up to the villages, into the iron farm, which you've already seen. The iron gets collected here. <laughs> Lovely. I've been collecting iron as we've been going along. We've got some flowers. Oh! I believe we've just uh, another iron golems met its match and provided us with a lovely iron. If we go up here, of course. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah, he's just passed away. Oh, no, he hasn't passed away. He's given us his iron. Anyway, this is our lovely watchtower. Don't look at that bit or that bit. But the spruce logs will basically go through to support it. But this is our lovely watchtower where we can look out on the surrounding area and see if there is any invaders coming along. Because it is big, it is tall. It is magnificent and magical. And if we go over here without listening to Iron Gums giving us their iron, over there is our. Which you can't see now, but there is where our village is. Fantastic. Right. I spent bloody too long on this. Too long on this episode. So I'm going to call it there. I'm going to say thank you for watching. I've been Nebs Gaming. All you beautiful people are amazing. Make sure you like and subscribe. Toodaloo. And I'll see you beautiful people in a few. Goodbye. Ignore those cats dying.